Hey there everybody, Phil here for Android Central and we are here with the brand new Lenovo ThinkPad. And this thing is actually kind of exciting. So let's start off and just show you the tablet itself. It's not the thinnest thing in the world. But it's also not the heaviest, or maybe it is, I can't tell, but it feels good. Let's just leave it at that. A uh, couple cool little things to see on the back here, see if you can show up on the video. So it says ThinkPad down here in the lower right-hand corner. And can you see the eye, the dot in the eye is lighting up. That's pretty awesome. Uh, Lenovo logo up there in the top left. And you have a rear-facing camera as well. A whole bunch of ports on this guy and buttons. We've got a volume rocker over here and a little dongle. We'll get to that big gaping hole in the side of this thing in a minute. Here we have a full-size USB port. And if I can get my fingernail to work, it's got a little door on top of it, which is nice. And then where did it go? Where did it go? On another side over here. We have even more ports. This thing, all right, it's large. Let's just leave it at that. I'm gonna drop it down here on the table. And here we have more ports. So you've got full-size SD card, you've got HDMI, you've got, which one was that? You've got micro USB, plethora, plethora of ports. As you can see, I just dropped it, but I'm not worried about that because it's got Gorilla Glass as well. So let's fire this guy up. I'm flipping back around. You've got a power button up here on the top left, which is a good place for it, I think. We will cancel that. We don't want to shut down. So this is running Android 3.1. It's Honeycomb. It's not the latest version of Honeycomb, but we'll take it. Immediately, you can see that Lenovo's done a fair amount of skinning on this. Um, right here in the very first home screen, you have their cool little launcher. Watch, email, listen, and read. And you can get to the settings for the device very quickly through there. Or you can get to the settings of the launcher. Here is kind of the first issue I have, though. So you can change all the different zones and what's in the zone. I have no idea which zone is zone 1, zone 2, zone 3, or zone 4 without going back and looking looking at it. So a list is nice, but unless it's graphical or something, it's going to frustrate me at some point. But we do have watch, email, listen, read, and then internet. And you can hit the little eye and it will bring up even more stuff, which is nice of it. Um, other stuff on the home screen is worth seeing. we got AccuWeather widget. We've got the Lenovo App Shop, which is new. It's run by MobiHand. It's a name that is synonymous with apps. You should know it by now. Uh, it's got 250 apps in it at launch, and it will be growing. We have email, Facebook, Twitter, nice little shortcuts to that. McAfee, Notes Mobile, we'll get to that in a second. Another shortcut to the Lenovo app shop. Can't have too many of them. Uh, Gallery, M-Spot Movies, Slacker Radio's on there by default, Xeno, Amazon, Kindle, Netflix. Now, this is the first official tablet to launch with Netflix. I know we've unofficially seen it on the Galaxy Tab, but Lenovo was the first company to officially get Netflix, which is very nice usual YouTube widget. Uh, a couple other customizations. So you can see you have little indicators up here of which home screen you're on. That is nice. We've seen that on other devices and I enjoy having that. Down here at the bottom, your buttons have been skinned. All right, those are the usual back home and your uh, multitasking. They've also included X's on this. So you can close out from an app right here from the multitask switcher, which is nice. You've also got this little button down here in the middle and it pops up this guy in the side here. Almost looks like another multi -touch, uh, multitasking launcher, but it's not. It's really favorites. So you can have favorite apps, you can add them. So that's how you can tell what's in there. If we wanted to add, say, Google Places, we would drag it in there. Thusly. Very simple, very nice. Really, almost the piece de resistance of this thing is a cool little app. Now, you remember that big gaping hole on the side of the tablet I showed you? Here's why. It's got a stylus. And the stylus, the side is on. Here it is. The stylus fits into the side of the device like that. So it's got this weird little uh, red button that sticks out when you're carrying it around. And people are going to ask what that is, right? Well, it's the stylus. Let's see if I can get it back out here. So the ThinkPad has this really, really cool Notes app, which occasionally doesn't want to rotate the way it should, which is unfortunate. You can see I've already written the word Android Central there once. Here's how I did it. It's very cool. Let's just erase it. I've got a little eraser tool up here, and I'm going to write 
Android Central. Look at that, it digitizes it. Now it got Android, it didn't quite get cuts. So let's get rid of cuts. C E N T R A L. We'll try it again. And it's done a little better. Sin it's how I think it might have not enjoyed having that other little line in there. One more try. There we go. Central. It works surprisingly well. So what it's doing is it's taking what you're writing, it's digitizing it, recognizes words. It'll also let you do shapes. Uh, they did a little cool box demo for us a minute ago. And I'll recreate it very poorly. And <laughs> see, it turned it into a, a pound symbol, a hashtag. But it will also allow you to insert pictures from the camera or from a file. And you can export as text or as an image, which is very, very cool. You can start new pages as well down here on the bottom. New page, new page, new page. You can go back to the cover. All in all, Kind of a sexy little tablet. I'm kind of liking this guy. My only complaint right now, and I don't think this is final software, it can be a little laggy as it rotates. If it rotates, it might take a minute. It might not. Uh, one other thing we should talk about are these hardware buttons down here at the bottom. So you have the one on the left here, which actually locks it from rotating. You have a quick internet button back and home. So an interesting mix. We've never seen a, a lock screen button really that prominent. They've usually been just tucked up on the side or anything. So there you go, guys. A very quick look at the Lenovo ThinkPad. We'll see you later.